Understanding Bridge Signals in English Hello everyone, and welcome to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating aspect of English communication, bridge signals. These phrases are crucial in making your speech more coherent and natural. So, let's dive in and understand what bridge signals are and how to use them effectively. Bridge signals, often known as transitional phrases, are words or phrases used to connect ideas in speech or writing. They help the listener or reader understand the relationship between your ideas, making your communication clearer and more structured. Examples include words like, however, moreover, in contrast, and as a result. Bridge signals can be categorized based on the function they perform in a sentence. Let's look at a few types. 1. Addition signals. These are used to add information. Examples include, and, also, furthermore, and, in addition. 2. Contrast signals. These highlight differences or contrasts. Phrases like, however, on the other hand, and, in contrast, are commonly used. 3. Cause and effect signals. These establish a cause-effect relationship. Phrases like, because, therefore, and, as a result, are part of this category. 4. Sequence signals. These are used to show the order of ideas or events, such as, first, next, then, and, finally. To use bridge signals effectively, 1. Identify the relationship. Understand the relationship between the ideas you want to connect. 2. Choose the appropriate signal. Select a bridge signal that accurately conveys this relationship. 3. Practice. Include bridge signals in your daily conversations and writing to become more fluent in their use. Let's look at some examples. 1. Addition. I love reading. Furthermore, I enjoy writing stories. 2. Contrast. She is very outgoing. However, her brother is quite shy. 3. Cause and effect. It was raining heavily. As a result, the event was postponed. 4. Sequence. First, we will discuss the plan. Then, we will execute it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you understand and use bridge signals in English effectively. These small phrases can make a big difference in your communication skills. Keep practicing, and you'll see the improvement in no time. See you in our next video.